So here's the prototype fit of my 5000 BTU window AC in my Sprinter van. I've riveted on these aluminum angles and I have uh, two other parts to this video that come before this, but this is the final result. Um, so I riveted on these angles and I got the angle just right. You'll see that it's angled this way. Um, see that line that coincides with this line? Try to get a right angle, a good angle so you can see that. But uh, this is a straight up and down line. And this is a line angled that way. So that gives just a very slight downwards angle so that the water can get to the fan, which makes it more efficient and also makes it so that it doesn't pool up in there and mold and get gross. You want it to be able to drain that way towards the fan. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend not to use tin snips for this. Um, that was a pretty stupid idea because I just uh, brutalized the whole thing. It's It looks awful. I'll have to get my grinder out to make it straight. But uh, yeah, the, the plan there was to not put metal dust all over the place because uh, the grinder gets pretty messy. But probably be a better I idea to just fold the door out all the way and then um, go to town on it with a grinder. Um, see, these are some quarter inch bolts. They're a little bit too long because uh, you know, I don't want to have to go to Home Depot twice. Um, and then some lock nuts. Um, I'll, I'll switch these out for uh, lock nuts so that it won't come out. Maybe I'll put another bolt in there. But, uh, I'll take this off and I'll add some, some kind of sealant, probably uh, butyl tape, just like the roof fan. And then um, I can't use Dicor self-leveling self lap sealant on this because um, it's a vertical surface. So I, I could use something similar, um, but I would recommend not to use uh, silicone caulk um, because it will screw up um, any further painting attempts and you can never get it completely off of metal, basically. So you don't want to use silicone caulk on a vehicle for those reasons. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll unbolt this, add the sealant, add the butyl tape, put the lock nuts on, and then it should be, well it will be watertight because butyl tape is pretty badass. Um, and uh, so this right here is just a little piece of foam that came um, and some packaging and uh, the idea here was to give it some flex when when this bounces down the road I'm trying to push down on this to show you but it's it's pretty solid but anyway once it goes down the road I'm sure it's gonna be bouncing plenty so that's why I engineered in this little gap to account for flex so it is very sturdily mounted on here it's um these little rivets, they're not that strong, but when you get a bunch of them all together, um, it gets pretty strong. So, uh, as you can see, I mean, it's like, I'm trying to shake it and it's really solid on there. So, uh, pretty happy with that. So I wanted something I can trust to not fall off. And I want something that, uh, that other drivers can trust not to fall off, you know. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else I can talk about. Um, some tips, maybe. Uh, so I found that this end of the AC is wider and bigger than this end, but when you install it, if you're putting in these angles on a table, which, you know, you're probably going to have to, um, the wider end needs to go in first from this way if you're gonna be working on the, if you're gonna be working on it on the table. That means that your hole needs to be as big as this, which is 16 by 12, I believe, um, rather than just cutting your hole this big. So, um, so that means that your hole will be a little bit wider, 
and that's not a big deal because you can use wide flanges to account for you know the slop so that you have some tolerance that will also give you some adjustability so that you can make sure that it's not looking all um, crooked you know because that would look sloppy so um, tolerances have been engineered into this uh, what was I gonna say about all that that's pretty much it yeah it looks sloppy right here but um, I'll take it out and then I'll take a grinder and I'll make it totally flat straight um, and for here I don't know what I'll do with all this but it's uh pretty legit if you ask me